Welcome everyone, this is Zanta with Repo Products. Today's video is on what's new in Revit 2021 and the new realistic real-time visual style that they have updated. I have Autodesk Revit 2021 open and as you can see I have multiple 3D views open. Before I get into the feature, I want to head over to Autodesk Revit 2020 because I want to show you one of the 3D views that we're working with in a particular model. This one here is called Reception 2. And if you take a look at how I have it set up, it is set to a visual style of realistic. And you can see things like the decal imagery. You can see the walls and the finishes of the uh, components and the materials. And it looks OK. There's a little bit of contrast with light and dark. But it's fairly washed and white. If I switch over to Autodesk Revit 2021 and I take a look at this reception view too, let's go ahead and switch over to tab views and we'll maximize the view. You can see it looks a lot different. It looks like they're trying to make sure that the lighting is coming in properly, that it's not as dark, the colors are toned down and it just has similar to say um, when you work with shadows in Revit and you adjust things like the um, whether you're seeing deeper richer colors or not so let me go ahead and show you where that's at I'm gonna turn off the shadow function for a second and if we head over to graphic display options in here under shadows, you see how it says show ambient shadows. This is similar to what it looks like it's trying to do here, where it's highlighting and enhancing certain areas that are dark. Whereas back here in Autodesk Revit 2020, it, you don't get that. It's very, very stark. It's very bland. It's kind of sterile. So let's jump back to Autodesk Revit 2021 now and take a look at this particular 3D view. And so it does look a little softer, a little easier on the eyes. And I'm going to tile the views because I want to show you something really quick before we get into the real time movement of it. I have them tiled. I typed in ZA to zoom all to fit. And if you look carefully in the navigation toolbar, some of them have a little fly icon and some do not. When you are working in a 3D view, if the 3D view is locked, for example, interior left front main dojang is locked, you can see it right there, then that fly capability isn't available. And that is a feature that's available in 2021. So I'm going to close the 3D views that I know that are locked that I don't need to work with. And obviously, you know, when you're doing this kind of work, you don't want to have that many views open because it doesn't matter how powerful your machine is um, and you know what kind of graphics card you're using. It's going to chew up processing time and it will slow the system down a little bit. So let's go ahead and close this last one here and I'll close this one. So now that we have this view to work with, we have the flying capability. One of the things that you can do is you can select the crop region of the view, right click it, and reset the crop boundary to say the screen. And this came out in 2020. Doing this kind of envelops the whole entire area and it makes you feel a little bit more immersed. And now when you use this fly command, your mouse has a little arrow that has Two arrows that you know allow you to use the left mouse button. And as you move your mouse, it kind of reorients like this. You want to use your keyboard to navigate. So A, S, D, and W. So A will make you go left, D will make you go right, W will make you go forward, and S will make you go backward. And so if you um if you're not used to this kind of navigation, it takes some time. And as you can see, I'm moving about 
And as long as I don't move my mouse and I don't reorient the camera view to specify a different eye elevation, it will still hold at that eye elevation. But the minute I stop using A, S, W, and D for navigation, and I use my mouse, and I do this, yes, I can rotate and turn and adjust and see a little bit easier, but what's happening is I'm adjusting my eye elevation and target elevation. So if you aren't careful, you might accidentally navigate yourself to the point where you're too low on the ground or too high on the ground. And again, it just takes time to get used to. So as you can see, I'm rotating the view so I can see a little bit easier on the inside. And now I look at my eye elevation, I'm at four feet, where it was originally six feet. So if I switch it back to six feet, you'll see the view will update accordingly takes a second as you can see and then again I can still use the fly command and now start using the A, S, W, and the D and this is how you do real-time navigation so I am not comfortable with using the keyboard to navigate but I know a lot of other people are especially when they're using like computer games uh, and they do those kind of navigation functions it's easier for them but this is how you can use the new features in the Revit 2021 to help you see your 3D view better in a realistic sense. And it just makes the material information look sharper and cleaner and the navigation is good. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching.